you're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin, and in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. A warning before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. We're not gonna go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her voice softly carries up the stairs. Hello? Is someone there? It's hypnotizing. It's the kind of voice you only have to hear once to remember it for the rest of your life. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. You're playing a dangerous game by coming here unarmed. Good. You're still listening to reason. It would be better if you had a weapon, but you may still be able to do what needs to be done. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's beautiful. How could someone like this be a threat to anyone? I am begging you to stay focused. There's a lot riding on you here. Hi. Do you think you can get me out of these chains? Okay. That seems like a pretty good compromise. I don't think I could bear being down here that much longer. Leaving her alive is too risky. If you don't deal with her soon, she will find a way out. So I'm the only one who liked that idea. <sighs> one way or another, I'm going to find a way out of here. It would make it easier for both of us if you'd help. But if you don't... I can promise that you'll regret that decision. You have to make a choice. Let's hope for all our sakes it's the right one. I know you think this is some kind of fair compromise, but it isn't. No one wins here. It's a chance we'll have to take. We can make this work if we just stay here and keep watch. No one has to die. Where are you going? You can't just leave me here. You turn your back to the princess and make your way back to the stairs. Fine, turn your back on me, but it won't be long before I slip these chains. And once I'm out of here, there will be hell to pay for leaving me behind. Slip these chains? She can't, right? She needed our help to get out of here. Do you hear the conviction in her voice? I don't think she's bluffing. Either way, she dropped the mask, didn't she? You can still grab the blade and get back down here. It'll be the death of all of us, but fine. We'll do it your You close the basement door, locking it behind you and quickly barricading it with the heavy wooden table that once held the blade. 
Okay. We can make this work. You settle in against the far wall to watch the basement door. It isn't long before you start to drift off, your eyelids heavy with fatigue. But sleep doesn't come. Instead, your rest is broken by a piercing, wailing voice calling out to you from the other side of the door. I know you're still there. Why don't you make things easier on yourself and let me out? It's not like this little door I'll hold for very long anyways. Huh? It's probably a good idea to try to get back on my good side. She sounds terrifying. Like she's less of the princess you saw and more like something out of a nightmare. As she violently rattles the door, you do your best to shut her out of your mind. When I get out of here, I'm going to pick you apart piece by piece. I won't forget what you did, and I'll never forgive it. You don't know the kind of enemy you've made tonight. It doesn't sound like she's getting any weaker. No, it doesn't. Just ignore her. Maybe the banging and wailing will stop if you just don't pay attention to it. You put the princess's threats out of your mind as best you can and huddle up against the wall. You jolt awake in the middle of the night to silence in the cabin. The ruckus has stopped, and the door to the basement is ajar, its lock broken, and the table shoved out of the way. Where is she? Thanks for helping me get out of that awful basement. You try and stumble to your feet, but as the princess draws near, it's as though your body simply stops working. It isn't all at once. The paralysis comes in waves. First your toes go numb, and then your feet, and then your legs. You lie prone on the floor of the cabin, unable to do anything but witness her approach. Whose side are you on? Yours, of course. But I have a duty to uphold the truth. Lying about the facts of the situation doesn't change them. So helpless. I can take my time with you, can't I? She steps closer, one silent footfall at a time, cocking her head in curiosity as you feel your organs shutting down one by one. Or maybe I can't take my time with you. You don't look well. A little green around the gills. What a shame. If you'd only help me get out of here. We could have done such wonderful things together. Your lungs stop drawing in breath, and your heart freezes in your chest. You have seconds left. I'd say better luck next time, but we both know this is the end, don't we? It can't be. This can't actually be how everything ends. I'm sorry, but it is. Everything goes dark and you die. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. A warning before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. I don't think lying and cheating is a thing. She was very direct with us last time. Or at least she was direct with us after we decided to lock her away. It doesn't matter. Don't trust anyone. The interior of the cabin is plain, the smooth wood of the walls almost featureless. The only furniture of note is a lone table, knocked on its side in the corner of the room. A pristine blade stands between you and the open, inviting basement doorway. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Hold on. What happened to the door? It's just an empty frame. 
she's already got now, hasn't she? And she's ready for us. She's been waiting. Can't you feel her eyes on us? I'm going to need all of you to pull yourselves together. The princess has not already gotten out. But if you keep getting stuck in your head like this, you're going to struggle to get the job done. So deep breath in, deep breath out. Your task awaits, and only you can do it. Oh, we should have taken the knife. I don't think going down there unarmed is going to do us any favours. You cross over the threshold and onto a series of isolated steps suspended in darkness. More eyes, too. You never mentioned the eyes. The air seeping up from below reminds you of fresh lightning and static, as if you're descending into a place that isn't meant for a creature of flesh and blood. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favour. Her cruel and playful voice prances up the stairs. I didn't think you'd come back. We're gonna have a lot of fun, you and I. Come back? She must have you confused with someone else. You really don't remember, do you? It doesn't matter, we need a game plan. We know we can't just go down there unprepared. You attempt to step off the stairs and into the pitch black surrounding them, but you're stopped by an invisible force. Why did you do that? What did you think would happen? Congratulations, you really lucked out. Of all the things that could have happened from stepping into a void, nothing is quite possibly the best outcome you could have gotten. <sighs> you make your way to the bottom of the stairs. As you emerge, you find yourself between two loose rows of white wooden planks, suspended in nothingness. A smattering of cobblestones, visible against the inky black of the basement, mark where the floor should be, forming vague pathways. At what seems to be the end of the room, they diverge in opposite directions, left and right. She could be anywhere, and there's nowhere for us to hide. We're completely exposed. Are you really not going to comment on how weird this place is? No, I'm not. Somebody needs to be the voice of reason here, and it certainly isn't you. Excuse me, I'm being incredibly reasonable. You're the one who's just matter-of-factly describing whatever the hell we're looking at like it's an ordinary basement. We're going to die down here. I don't want to die again. Please stop saying that. You're only going to make things worse. Just pick a direction and start moving. I wouldn't give it too much thought if I were you. It doesn't really matter, because either way you go, I'm going to find you. You decide it's best to do nothing. There you are. I told you I was going to find you. As the princess approaches, your legs suddenly go numb. Your arms quickly follow. This is it, isn't it? It's almost like you want me to get you. There has to be a way out of this. Think. Think. What did you do? Pull yourself together. She isn't supposed to be like this. I wonder how many times I'll get to play with you before you break. Your vision cuts out as your blood begins to coagulate. It's as if every part of your being is coming to a lurching halt. Your lungs pull in a desperate gulp of air as your eyes shoot back open. What are you doing? I'm working. Do you want this body to function, or do you want... And then experience stops once more as your body reapproaches death. Okay, whatever you were doing, please just start doing it again. Are you sure about that? Are you sure that's what you want, or do you want to interrupt me some more? You have seconds left. Yes, I'm sure. Again, your eyes shoot open as you gasp for breath. You can't decide what you want to do, can you? Oh well, standing there gasping like a fish is more fun than dead. Even if you look ridiculous. She isn't attacking us. Why? The why doesn't matter, she's already proven her ill intent. Don't lose sight of your mission. And how are we supposed to do that? We don't have a weapon. The way out of here is nowhere to be seen. That isn't my fault. It doesn't matter whose fault it is, because fighting her 
isn't an option right now. Then you should get looking, shouldn't you? Nerves. Heart. Lungs. Liver. Nerves. I tried to leave while you suffocated, but that stupid cabin wouldn't let me. So I started to drag your body out with me and then... Well, you died before I could get to the door. And then I was here, and now you are here too. I don't think I can move without you, and dead doesn't count. And as much as I love what we have going on, I have bigger plans than tormenting one poor little creature forever. I want to leave. Liver, nerves, heart, lungs. I am being nice. You're alive, aren't you? And you died of fright as soon as you saw me last time. I didn't think keeping you alive was an option. But it looks like that's not a problem anymore. At least not for me. You seem miserable. Because I don't no. want to. And even if I did, I don't have to. Liver. Look at the way you're struggling to stay alive. It's taking everything you have to keep your heart pumping right now. And I'm enjoying the show. The princess leans forward, bringing her masked lips close to your ear. If I want to see you gone, all I need to do is break your concentration. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves. She slowly runs her velvet glove across the base of your neck. It feels like static. And then... Shit, shit, make her stop. Hey, snap out of it. Okay, deep breath. Deep breath, we're fine. Heart, lungs, liver... Nerves, heart, your back. Lungs, liver, One moment, nerves, heart, and then lungs, you're gone. Liver, nerves, Just heart, like lungs, liver, that. Nerves, heart, ah, lungs, liver, and there's nerves, the fear. Heart, lungs, liver, she pulls nerves, away. Heart, but that lungs, wouldn't be very liver, fun, nerves, now would it? Heart, I've lungs, already done liver, that. Nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart. I am lungs, what I am, and lungs, right now, heart, I'm lungs, in control. Liver, she raises one long gloved finger, its tip hovering just over your skin, seeming to enjoy the lingering threat. But she withdraws, sparing you another momentary glimpse of death. Chances are you're pretty useful. I think I'll keep you right by my side. A little good luck charm to make sure I stay free. Don't worry, I'll make sure to take good care of you. I promise. Oh, we both know that you don't have a say here, so you should just look on the bright side. Yeah, I'm not sure the bright side is for you, but I'm positive you can find it if you look hard enough. Destroy is such an unenlightened way of putting it. So sudden, so violent, so little nuance. I'm not going to destroy the world, but I am going to hold it in my hands and squeeze it. I'm going to make it afraid, just like I've made you afraid. The world needs fear, doesn't it? Every terror I bring would make the good times so much better. Well, I'm practically doing a public good. Lungs, so what liver, harm is there really nerves, in letting me out? Lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, when nerves, everyone dies eventually, lungs, they're all full nerves, of wet, writhing things, and in the end, nerves, each and every lungs, one of them liver, gets unwound. Nerves, heart, lungs, and then those liver, things get to become nerves, a new everybody, lungs, liver, just to come nerves, apart heart, all lungs, over liver, again. Nerves, heart, lungs, all I want nerves, is to be there for it. Heart, I want to watch liver, it happen, nerves, and maybe do a little unwinding myself. Is that lungs, really so liver, much to ask? Nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves. And we're stuck down here lungs, together liver, nerves, until you change heart, your mind. Lungs, liver, nerves. Static, and a skipped beat as she touches your shoulder and whispers in your ear. No, 
heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Oh, until, until your heart, heart finally gives out. Heart, lungs, and then, when you die, I'll find myself somewhere new. And before too long, you'll be there too. That's how this all works, right? This doesn't end until you let me out. And a lot can happen before that. I'm sure I can get creative. Like I said, I am what I am. It's not my fault that you can't handle being around me. Lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, And then we wind up right back where we started. Round and round we'll go. I wonder what will be different next time. Maybe you'll actually be able to move a limb. Who knows? Liver, nerves. But I'm always going to win. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Is that a bet you're willing to take? Imagine climbing a mountain of lifetimes. And when you finally reach the summit, when you finally win, the only view you find is me. And that, I, push you. And you go tumbling all the way down those millions upon millions of battered and broken pieces of you that couldn't make the cut. What then? Would you have it in you to climb again? It sounds like a lot of effort for nothing. When instead we can just leave this place together. Hand in hand. Liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver. Oh, that's adorable. You don't have anything that can hurt me. So do your worst. Lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs. The princess cocks her head, neck cracking uncomfortably. And you can't help but imagine a smile carve its way from ear to ear on the other side of her mask. Of course I can die. I'm dying all the time. And so are you. But we're both still here. And you can't make me go away. You poor deluded thing. Do you think a single moment of bravery changes you into something you're not? I am what I am. And you're nerves, always going to be a coward. Liver, nerves. She raises a hand to her mask and pulls it down. You don't get the chance to see what lies beneath before it envelops you. Like a creeping mold, the complete reality of your existence threads its way through your mind. Birth, death, birth again, decay and bloom. A million stitches from a million microscopic wounds you've inflicted on everyone you've ever met, with every muscle you've moved and every word you've ever spoken. No, 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 no. Let me out. Your existence hurts them. Let me out. A lonely soul in a room by itself, weeping. It lives for 80 years and then it's gone. And then it's there again. Let me out. A reprieve. A good life. Love. Children. A steady career. Recognition from your peers. Here one moment. Gone the next. The worms have found their orifices. Let me out. Diagnosis. It forgets everything it is. Anger. Rage. Distance. Poverty. The lonely soul is lonely again. Love turns to mockery. It dies. It is reborn. Worse. Lonelier. Let. Me. Out! No, 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 no. No, no. What's, what's happening to us? Let me out! This is all too much. I can't keep going. You can't keep going? Well, what are you talking about? Oops, I think I broke you. I'll see you soon. You'll know what to do. You're on a path in the... Shit, shit, what? What the hell was that? Who are we? What are we doing? There was a princess, I think. It's all so fuzzy. It hurts when I try to remember. 
You shouldn't know about the princess. At least, not until I... You've already been here, haven't you? I guess. It, it feels so long ago, almost like we've never left. We have to let her out. No, that's the opposite of what you're here to do. You have to slay her. Slay? We decided not to do that, didn't we? Yeah, we're supposed to let her out. It's really the only way this works out for us. If you think about it, she's the one with power here. Nobody else can do much of anything. No, we were supposed to keep her trapped there forever. I think. We're supposed to be unfeeling. How many times do I have to tell you to snuff out your heart? We can't be unfeeling. Not when there's so much fear everywhere. There's nothing for us to do. We've already tried everything. We love her, so we have to set her free. Can we love something that hates us? Can we love something that hurts us? To be given an ounce of kindness from something so cruel would be more pure than any other love. Why are there so many of us? There aren't supposed to be so many of us. This is bad. You need to get a grip. What did you let happen? How many times have you been here? Many, 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 many times. It feels like we've been here forever. It also feels like we've barely been here at all. It doesn't matter. Yes, we just have to do what she says and then everything will be fine. It won't. It will be for us. She said so. You're part of everything. If things aren't fine for everything, they won't be fine for you. There's no difference between fine and not fine. It just goes on and on. What does here even mean, if you really think about it? Shut up. You were here. Every single time. You did your best, really. There's just a pecking order. And our cruel and beautiful goddess sits atop it, right where she's always belonged. You're lucky. What I would give to be able to forget. I've tried to keep them numb. But they're all too soft. A shame, really. You slowly make your way through the umbral forest, bumping against unseen trees as you grasp through the darkness for a way forward. But eventually, you do make it to the cabin. Or rather, you make it to the place a cabin should have been. Instead, all you find is an empty hill. No, no, this isn't right. There's a cabin there. There's always supposed to be a cabin there. Don't ask him about the mirror. He always says he never sees it. He always lies. And he always makes it gone. Stay focused. You still have a job to do, and it's best not to be distracted by fraying thoughts. There is no mirror. You know that as well as I do. She's still here. Buried deep inside the earth. Just walk up the hill. You always give too much space to the others. It's why you always lose. They've been heard too much. It's why they are the way they are. Exactly. They are delusions and all that catering to them will do is drag you down to their level. You have to keep moving. Or you could just give up. You walk up the hill, hesitating just beyond the bounds of the cabin. The cabin that isn't there. You've got to clean the mirror, haven't you? You've got to see what's in it. Smash it to pieces. She's on the other side, and we have to let her out. It's the only way we can be free. It's the only way we can have our thoughts back. Just go around it. Just do something. It doesn't matter what. Proceed. Proceed to where? I'm afraid you're going to have to be a little more specific. 
that's a new one. Do you think it'll work? Of course it'll work. He always makes the best decisions. It's why he gets to make them. And it already has worked. It's gone, don't you see? We're one step closer to her. The interior of the cabin is much the same as the exterior of the cabin. A dull, fuzzy, dreamlike nothing. It's empty and isolating, but there's just enough vague shape and unknown texture to suggest the structure therein. Wrong and unsettling as it may be. The only object of note is a pristine blade buried in the dirt floor, a hint of its shining edge teasing through the sediment. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you're going to do this right. Take it. It's the only way forward. You reach down to take the blade, but as you do, the ground beneath it shifts, the weapon sinking deep into the earth. You lean over the hole and gaze into the abyss. It is so very deep. Deep in the bowels of the earth, you see something staring back at you. It fills you with dread. It's a... Uh, she's watching us. She never stops watching us. You really are a coward. With every word she speaks, the princess in the pit blinks closer. I said that way back when. You know that, right? Closer. I was having some fun, and I guess I wanted to see if I could knock you. And closer. Watching over me forever? That was so brave. And closer. But forever is so, so long. And time erodes everything. Except for me. I've already taken your will, and you're not getting it back. And it's not this way to take my will. And let me out. It'll be so much fun. You and me, together, exploring the world and spreading fear wherever we go. Well, mostly just me. But you'll get to be there too. A witness. I can even make you a little cage if you want. Gilded and everything. Now don't pause. Now don't pause. Don't try to resist. I've already molded you into what I need. And you lost your power so long ago. Don't bother working yourself into a frenzy to get it back. Do something. Do anything that isn't taking her hand. You extend your hand to hers. For all her past cruelties, the moment feels gentle. Tender, even. I can't believe you just made me say that. I hate you. The motion is difficult at first, as if something still resists your efforts. But then that resistance gives way, and it's over. That's the end. I wonder what we're going to do next. I didn't think I'd be so... tired. Why is it so cold? She's gone. Yeah. I can finally think again. Almost. That mirror's back. What does that mean for us? I'm sure it'll be whisked away, just like her. Maybe it won't be gone. Things are different now, aren't they? Doesn't seem like there's much else to do here. Finally, we can smash it. Oh, will you stop with the smashing? What do we say, boys? One last vain attempt to look at ourselves. Yeah. I think I'd like that. Seems we've got a majority. All that's left is to give it a look. Something tells me that this is the end of the line. But 
I don't feel bad about it. I'm ready. It feels... Okay. It feels... Oh. I'm done fighting. My heart feels... Quiet. The game was always going to end. I'll be free of all of you. I'm ready for the truth. I'm ready to sleep. I'm just ready to be anywhere that isn't here. Boys, it's been an honor. Something finds me in the long quiet and brings me the gift of a fragile vessel. Yes, nerves and fibers to feel the world's beyond, perspectives to make my own. This one is a waiting mall, an inevitable destination where all roads end. She will make for a wise heart. Do not mourn her. She is exactly where she needs to be. Nothing as we are, but I know that there are worlds beyond us and that we are meant to reach them. There is no exit, but this vessel is a creature of perception. She can make you forget if only you believe her to be able to. Bring me more perspectives so that I may be whole, and perhaps then we will know our freedom. She asks that I tell you to remember her. You won't. 